So there are all of these cliched comments, and here's one. We have too many meetings. Meetings are a waste of time. So everybody, get ready, kind of repeat in your own mind. Are you ready? Meetings are not a waste of time. Bad meetings are a waste of time. And if you don't have good meetings, you have no future. And if you have bad meetings, you're in trouble. But anybody who says, we don't need meetings, let me think how to say this just nicely, you're an ignoramus. And so this book, Wiser, Getting Beyond Group Think to Make Groups Smarter, is a book about groups and teams. How do we go about getting our groups and teams functioning well. And I've got about 15 ways to begin this. How about this one? You will spend time in groups. You will. You may as well make that good time. Don't waste it. Don't misuse it. Don't go wrong with it. Or how about this? Vern Harnish, in a book, Mastering the Rockefeller Habits, and now his new version, Scaling Up, says you've got to have the rhythm of meetings done well. But I think the highlight of my understanding came from this. If you know anything about Apple, you've got Steve Jobs, the genius and a half. You've got Tim Cook, who's running the company well. But the current genius is a guy named John Ivey. I hope I'm saying his last name right. John Ivey. And he once corrected Steve Jobs. Think about that. He once corrected Steve Jobs. And he said, Steve, you need to tone it down in meetings. You're crushing your colleagues. And Steve Jobs said, this is the quote, why would you be vague? That's worth writing down. Why would you be vague? You don't care about how they feel. You're being vain. You want them to like you. Get the work done well. Don't be vague. And so, what this book is really all about is, let's don't waste our time in groups and teams. Let's get to the point. Let's get our work done. If you know anything at all about groups, you know that there are a lot of bad ones. So, here we are on page two. Follow along at the top of the page. Why is this book worth our time? We keep getting it wrong far too often. We don't do group work right. Why? This book helps us understand the why. Number two, we need to discover and implement solutions to real problems. Almost always, the solutions are beyond the reach of any one person. Thus, we need to get better at reaching solutions in groups. Groups run into four independent problems. Number one, groups do not merely fail to correct the errors of their members, they actually amplify the errors. Number, two. Number four, groups focus on shared information, what everybody knows already, at the expense of, circle this phrase, unshared information, and thus fail to obtain the benefit of critical and perhaps troubling information that one or a few people have. Wiser, getting beyond groupthink to make groups smarter, this book, I think, is important and profound. Hope you found it useful. Thank you very much.